In this video, let's look at how you can customize the style and design of your site in Document 360. When you first create and publish your knowledge base using Document 360, a default style and color theme will be applied that you may wish to change in order to brand the knowledge base using your color guides and logos. You can customize the appearance of your site in the Site Design and Navigations page. In the Site Design page, you can set your icons, the layout, and color themes. Add your logo, which will be displayed on the top of your page. The right-hand panel gives a glimpse of the changes in real-time as you go. Once you save the settings, your public-facing site will reflect your changes. The next tab is Header Navigation, where you can configure both the left and right side navigation headers. Let's add a couple of links to see how these work. Once you click on the Add Link button, you will need to specify what this header will do, and there are four different options. Home will point to your documentation homepage. Documentation will take you directly to the documentation. Custom URL allows you to provide a name and a URL, which will take the user to the specified website. Finally, if you choose Call to Action as a type, it will show up in the header as a button rather than a link, and it allows you to do things like create a login button. Let's enter a custom URL to point to google.com. On the right side navigation, let's add a link as a call to action, which the user can use to log into their account using their Google ID and password. Once we save and refresh the page, the public facing site will appear with the header navigation we configured. The footer can be configured in the footer navigation section. Here, you can add links to your social media accounts or build your own customized footer using HTML or CSS under the custom footer section. First, let's configure a couple of basic footer items. Give it a name and the URL. Under the social links section, add your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube accounts. Click Save and refresh the public-facing website to view the changes. Custom footers are a bit more advanced, but enable you to configure a more bold and customized footer. Document 360 provides a couple of different templates to choose from, which you can use as a starting point and customize it to your liking using either HTML or CSS. The Preview button helps you see how your custom footer would look in your page. Theme A is a dark theme, and Theme B has a slightly different layout and is a lighter version. Or you can start from scratch by choosing blank. Document 360 gives you everything you need to make your knowledge base look the way you want while keeping things simple and user friendly. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out more videos in the tutorial section.